Today's segment is sponsored by the University of St. Francis. The University of St. Francis engages a diverse community in learning, leadership, and arts. So today with me, I have Tim Parsley, who is the director of Studio Art. How are you, Tim? Good, I'm good. Good, so we are here on the streets in Fort Wayne, walking down, viewing this beautiful mural that you and your students created. So tell me about the mural. Well, this is a, a project that I led with students as a part of a public art and mural painting class that is focused on everything from the initial concept through working, working with the community, creating it, completing it. It really shows them the start to finish of a public art project. Wow, that's so cool. And you as an artist, tell me, what is it like to be an artist? What do you do? Well, my studio practice is focused mostly on painting and drawing and collage that kind of reinterprets American history but that's sort of the nucleus of other things that I do as an artist. I also work as a public artist, obviously painting murals in different areas throughout the Midwest and, and other places, but uh, then I work as an educator who's interested in helping students to figure out how their work can, can impact their communities. That's so cool, and you have painted over 30 murals? Around 30, I've lost, yes. I've lost track of, right, of right. how many, but it's approximately 30 murals in different parts of the U.S. as well as one that's in Nairobi, Kenya, and so it's, it's, they've kind of just gone in a lot of directions at this point. Absolutely, and how do you feel that art and this experience plays in the role of the student? Well, for the student, I mean, on, on the one level, I hope they get the practical skills so they can, it's a one way they can sustain their career as an artist. Um, they learn about all of the nuts and bolts that are behind the scenes of the finished piece, and that's important for them to understand as professionals. But more than that, I really am hoping that our students understand that to be an artist isn't just about you know, hiding in some studio somewhere and doing their own private work, but that they have a benefit that they can bring to their community. Right. That their cities, their neighborhoods could be more interesting to look at, more beautiful, more engaging, because they as artists live in those neighborhoods. Right. And so I want them to be, you know, I like to think, how is your neighborhood or your community better because you're an artist in it. Yeah, I like that, I like that. And so something like this, how long did this take to, to paint? Well, when it's with students and we stretch it out through a course, mm -hmm. it takes a little longer. So there's a couple months worth of work in this that uh, kind of navigates weather and class times and all of that. Mm -hmm. But typically a mural like this, if it were just me working on one, it could be anywhere from three to six weeks, somewhere in that range, just That's depends. So quick. You would think this would take years. I mean, it doesn't always feel detail. quick when you're doing it. But <laughs> and what happens if it rains? Uh, well, if, if it rains while you're painting, you know, you stop. Thankfully, yeah. the, the paint we work with dries very rapid, so it would have to be a very, very sudden storm to, uh, to cause it to run. But I, I really do stress to the students and anybody I'm working with that even if something like that occurred or if there's a mistake, it's all paint. It can be covered over. There's, you know, a multitude of painting sins under the top layer that nobody ever has to see. Yeah, so exactly. So <laughs> even in the worst case scenario, there's usually always a fix. And you have to kind of tell yourself that in order to not get too bogged down with the setbacks or the challenges that come your way, whether it be weather or mistakes or whatever. Which is a good lesson for yeah. life in general. Yeah. <laughs> setbacks will yeah. happen. <laughs> yeah, they do. So that's awesome. And, you know, Public art is something that is so vivid here throughout Fort Wayne. Why do you think public art is so important in having murals like this around town? Well, I, I think, I mean, I, I love seeing this um, growth of public art throughout our city. Uh, I, you know, I get to work on the Mayor's Public Art Commission and re on their review committee, and it's really exciting to see all the projects that are popping up. But yeah. when I think in the big picture of why public art is important, I always like to think of public art as a as I call it a beneficial interruption, that okay. we so easily go into autopilot as we go throughout our days, many times not even noticing the stuff that we might pass by mm -hmm. 20 times in a week. But right. when we come across a work of art, something that's out of the norm, it stops us and we take in its beauty or we think about its message. We might even be confused by it, but it causes us to pause and, and disrupt our normal patterns in a way that hopefully is engaging. And so in that sense, I like to think that it is not only causing us to see our world differently, but it's kind of like these projects are, I don't know, they're like the seasoning, the flavoring on something, mm -hmm. you know? And so yeah. a city can sometimes feel bland right. or it can have those, those flavors throughout. And yeah. so that's what, I, I think it can, can bring that in a helpful way to a community. That's a cool way of saying it, the flavor. Adds a little yeah. flavor to the city, yeah. conversational yeah. piece, and just beauty. 
So if someone is interested in learning more about the University of St. Francis and taking your program and, and taking your courses, where should they go? Well, certainly if they're looking at studying there as a student, they could talk to our admissions department at St. Francis. If they want to just learn more about murals and if that's the right fit for them, even possibly as an education in, in art, I would love to talk to them. So they can reach out to me at the university uh, through email or through my line there. But it's, um, we love talking to people who are interested about it. And sometimes it leads to a formal involvement with the school and other times it be, maybe it's a partnership with somebody in the community that wants students to work on a project. And uh, so we have a number of ways. We also have a minor that's focused on public art that okay. students can do individual projects in the community and get credit for that. So there's, whether they want to be involved as a student or they just want to partner with the school, we have a lot of ways to mobilize our students into the community mm -hmm. so that they're really making an impact on their neighborhoods. There it is, making an impact on the neighborhoods. Thank you so much, Tim, for chatting with us today. Thank you, today. my yes, pleasure. Absolutely, and I'll see you after the break. Today's segment is sponsored by the University of St. Francis.